Good evening guys, Tony back again, horror in Todge, we made it, day 31, 31 days of horror, Halloween night, and you're probably thinking why I'm in my car, well I'm going to do a come to the cinema way basically for the last night, so I've heard this new film's coming out last night in Soho, um, I haven't watched any trailers because I want to be completely surprised, I know it stars Anna Taylor-Joy and I know it's an Edgar Wright film, that's all I know, um, and I know I think it's about a fashion designer or something, so psychological horror it claims. Um, haven't listened to any reviews or anything yet, so I just thought, take you guys along with me. Bit of a cinema experience. Don't get to do it as often as I should do it, to be fair, but it's pitch black here because the, the, um, the clocks changed last night. So it's half past five here in the UK and it's pitch black dark. It's always good for Halloween night and there's loads of trick-or-treaters coming past my house behind us, but... I'm going to get off to the cinema, so I don't have to see those guys, unfortunately. But, yeah, so we'll go to the cinema, guys. Check out Last Night in Soho. I'll come back in this format, and I'll, and I'll give you the rundown of what I think of it. So, catch you when we get there. Just got out of the cinema from seeing last night in Soho. Sorry the lighting's bad. So it's pitch black. I've only got my light from my car. But we have a winner. Oh, great film. Uh, probably my favourite Edgar Wright film I've seen, to be fair. I know that's um, pretty hard to say, but really enjoyed this one. Um, you had uh, Tom Zim McKenzie. Um, who else? Matt Smith. And, uh, like I say, Anna Taylor-Joy in this one and, and essentially it follows this um a fashion student she moves to soho london to study fashion first year and she's in this uh sort of student accommodation and the girls are being pretty bitchy towards her because she's obsessed with the 60s this is tom's and uh, mackenzie's character eloise um she's obsessed with the 60s because she's been brought up with her nan as we find out her mum died uh, uh, earlier on in her childhood and uh, she's just obsessed with the 60s, obsessed with vinyl, 60s clothing, listening to 60s, yeah, like I say, music. She's just obsessed with the 60s, loves it. Anyway, she's in this student accommodation and they're being pretty bitchy towards her. These girls are horrible. So she decides to get a job in a bar and move out into like a rented apartment on her own accord. So she moves to this part of London, into this woman's uh, old woman's house and it's like a, a bed sit she's a, she rents the room at the top of the top of the house and when she rents this room all of a sudden every night when she goes to sleep she starts to dream about well she starts to like live in the 1960s so it's, it's a bit weird to begin with but the story sort of intertwines well uh, she starts to see anna taylor joy's character um and She's like an inspired, um, she wants to be a singer in the 60s and she goes to all these clubs around London and uh, Eloise is sort of following her around like like a fly in the wall almost, like through mirrors and stuff she's seeing and she's almost morphing into her and she's seen her try out for all these, you know, clubs and stuff and she saw, sees this guy who's like played by Matt Smith and he's um, sort of becomes her manager but he also becomes like a pimp as well. He starts like pimping her out for, for money and stuff. And it's really, really dark in that retrospect. And then Eloise's character takes this sort of... She sees it every night when she's in this room, when she gets into this room. And then she takes it like into real life. All her imagination sort of roll into sort of real life. She starts to see these sort of... Uh, male 60s men dressed in suits and stuff who are, are like coming to uh, 
sleep with Anna Taylor Joy's character, who's this prostitute, and she sees them all the time in real life and seeing these ghostly figures and you know, all that sort of stuff. It's quite creepy. Some parts are quite creepy. Like I say, it takes probably a good hour to get going because it's on for about, I don't know, an hour and 50 minutes, something like that, just over. And uh, yeah, it takes about an hour to get going. You, but yeah, Tom's in Mackenzie, or Tam, yeah, Tom's in Mackenzie, I think her name is. Really great in this. She was the best in this, I think, compared Anna Taylor Joy, and that was, was good. But they were sort of part characters, but she really carried the story well. You sort of didn't know if she was actually going crazy, or well, this was sort of a, a, a real time event because she was going to the police, she was going to guys at her college, you know, she was trying to look up murders in London and stuff that was taking place. And she starts to see all these murders happening. And she thinks it's happening to someone else. I'm not going to get into the story, guys, because you'll have to watch it. And it's it's like a it's like a murder mystery, like who done it, that sort of thing, by the end of the story. But a really cool sort of intertwining tale, like the 60s and modern day sort of intertwined together, like I say, reality starts to become dreams and dreams start to become reality, that sort of thing. And um, by the time you get to like probably the hour and a half mark of this film, so the last 20 minutes of this film gets really gory, some great, um, you know, uh, kill scenes with uh, kitchen knives and stuff and, you know, slashing the throats and slashing the faces and, you know, stabbing people hundreds of times and stuff. It gets quite brutal, this one. So it's an 18 certificate, but... I'm not going to get into too much more, guys, because I want you to go out and watch this film. Like I say, I'd never heard much about it. I tried to stay away from these trailers. And, um, yeah, really cool film. Really enjoyed Like I say, probably my favourite Edgar Wright film. Uh, Tom's and McKenzie was fantastic. The other guy's done a great job, too. This soundtrack in this was absolutely killer. It was like um, all 1960s music played through vinyl and stuff. It was just sort of took you along this journey it was great uh, the lighting was great there was all this sort of weird flashing um red and blue lights from like the lights in london on the side of buildings you know billboards uh, what, what was coming through this girl's window in her bedroom at night it was really uh yeah set the tone up well the 60s tone and some great yeah like i say um Great costume designs and haircuts and stuff. And just real 60s feel. Real British feel about this one too, guys. You know, real London sort of, you know, great British acting. It was, it was good. All good fun. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably give this one. Really enjoyed it, guys. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 from cinema experience. I thought it was great. So, great film. Definitely go out and see this if you haven't seen it. Thanks for everyone who's watched all these, guys. Thought I'd take you on a cinema trip. Uh, on the last night of 31 Days of Horror, Halloween. Really windy here now, so thanks for you, all you guys for sticking with me, all the new subs and, you know, all your, anyone who's commented or liked or disliked, thanks a lot. Uh, really appreciate it. Love doing this, 31 Days of Horror. I've been Tony, guys. I'll catch you all for my next videos. Uh, probably in a day or so, I'll do a pickups video. So thank you. Thanks a lot, everyone. Really appreciate it.